and the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! And you know what that means? It's time for all the toy news, action figure news of the week that interested me, that hopefully interests you. And this week, we got a special edition, kinda. It is the toy news, of course, as we do every single Saturday, but this is the 200th episode of the toy news. We've been doing 200 episodes of this very Saturday tradition here. And of course, Sunday, weekly purchases, we know about that as well. So a little bit of a banner, a milestone, I guess we'll call it here in this week's toy news. And a crazy week, as it's one of the slowest toy news weeks we have ever had here on the channel. So probably not going to be a super long video this go around, which is all right. We're okay with that, and our wallets are okay with a little bit of a break as well. But we're going to talk about the news that came this week, including some WrestleMania follow-ups and some of the fallout from some of the action figure stuff we did see, of course, at WrestleMania. And hopefully last week you checked out. I did have three different videos of WrestleMania reveals. Three videos, so a lot of toy news in those. Check those out if you did miss those videos. But of course, Patreon, we are in the month of April, the month of April giveaway. Nobody's ready for her. It is Asuka. It is the Asuka Ultimate Edition for a lot of people, possibly the figure of the year already. We'll see how it shakes out at the end of 2024, but this will be the Patreon giveaway this month. A lot going on on Patreon every single day, as you guys do know. Appreciate everybody that supports the channel via the Patreon. You do get early access to both YouTube channel videos. You do get glamour shots for all the videos that we film, of course, on the channel. You do get the monthly giveaway right there. You also get a monthly Q&A. You also get all kinds of other stuff, pizza reviews, dog stuff, you name it. A lot going on on the Patreon every single day. Appreciate the Spart. Appreciate the Spart at ProWrestlingTees.com. Of course, search Kyle Peterson over there. And then, of course, another reminder, we're about a month into the book. Yes, the book. Still here, the complete guide to Jack's Classic Superstar Series. Hardcover edition on Barnes & Noble. Soft cover, of course, over there on Amazon. And Amazon fluctuating the price. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Uh, it was down to like $62 for a couple of days, then they rose it back up to like $71. So your mileage may vary. Your mileage may vary. Whoa, 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 stop the clock. I almost forgot to mention today is the day. If you're watching this when this drops, 3 o'clock Central, Saturday, April 13th, and I will also have a show in May. More on that to come. It is my first ever Whatnot show. I will be on Whatnot selling stuff from my personal collection. Use the link in the description below. Get $10 towards purchase if you want to, if you're a new member. We'll be doing a Heart Foundation LGN Coliseum Collection giveaway on the show. You just got to be in the chat to be able to win that. You don't even have to buy anything. So come over, live chat, say hi. We'll have a special guest, maybe two, joining me for the stream. Should be good. Help me clean out some stuff out of my uh, bin of extra figures. A lot of auctions starting at $1. So you can get a lot of figures at 1 buck, and you can help me get them out of my house for spring cleanup. There you go. But it should be a fun time. Can't wait to chat with everybody over there. Hit me up on Whatnot. Bookmark the show. See you at 3 o'clock Central, 4 o'clock Eastern, or whatever time zone you're in. Come say hi on Whatnot. Let's dive into some of the toy news this was this week. Like I said, not the biggest week of toy news we've ever had, and that's all right. We're okay with that every once in a while. Uh, but many of the reveals last week talked about it. We did three videos on those many of reveals. A couple of follow-ups that came late on Sunday. We did see the Superstars Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Well, apparently old brother Brew died isn't shipping alone. It looks like it's going to be a two-in-one figure. Very easy way to do this, but you will be able to turn into the Zodiac from, of course, WCW time frame. So got to buy two of those for my loose collection so I can display both looks there. Very cool to see that. And if you didn't get enough WrestleMania reveals, I was on a Toy Kind of Mood YouTube channel. It was about a three-hour live stream this week talking all the WrestleMania reveals and some G.I. Joe as well. Check that out if you did miss that. And of course, CM Punk was the big reveal on Sunday last week. We did a CM Punk specific video. Check that video out if you did miss it. Uh, got the pre-order up. Of course, Patel Creations going right now for CM Punk. You got till the rest of the month here to get those. It will be a $25 elite for CM Punk from his return at Survivor Series 2023. But check out all the punk news in that video. We did get some pretty glamour shots this week. We did see Tatanka, Kurt Angle, and the big boss man from the WWE Superstars line. A three-piece line going forward, it sounds like here. 
three superstars that really do fit in the superstars motif. It does make sense here. We knew these were coming. They were leaked long ago, and we did see them, of course, at WrestleMania weekend, but now we're seeing the pretty promotional images for these. Got to say, all three of them look like an easy slam dunk. I'm here for the superstars, but the superstars line, the most challenging figure line to collect in this day and age. My Walmarts are just not getting these things on a regular basis. It's been very unfortunate. I'm still on the hunt for another Andre the Giant. Hopefully I can find that one of these days. We'll see what happens right there. But uh, that's a little Superstars news. We also got some follow-ups after WrestleMania week. We talked to other reveals as well, not just Mattel stuff. But we did see figure collections. It looks like their Ultimo Dragon 2-pack with Sonny Ono. All three versions shipping out right now. And it sounds like Macho Man and Gilbert kind of on the heels of that as well. So if you're into the bone crunching or bone crushing, I guess I should say, superstars, figure collection is the place to be. I did order two of those Ultimo Dragon Sunny Ono uh, sets. I was kind of saying, do I really need two of these? Now I'm really saying, do I really need three or did I even really need two? We'll see on that third pack. I might play a little of that long game, maybe a little patience on that. But, of course, that third one is going to be the most rare of all of them. That's usually the way it does go. But if you're into Ultimo Dragon and you're into Sunny Ono, three versions coming out as we speak right now. And then speaking of retros a little bit more, KWK, of course, Mantar. And I will be giving away the one-of-one one sample tomorrow in weekly purchases for this Mantar. Appreciate everybody out there as we did hit 40,000 subscribers. And uh, this will be the giveaway. Thank you to KWK for sending me this on, or sending this on to me to give away. We'll be giving it away in weekly purchases tomorrow, so make sure you're watching weekly purchases. Hopefully you entered to win, uh, and if you did, your name may be called, so stay tuned for that tomorrow. But we did see that. That is shipping out very, very soon. It's basically shipping out now from over in China. Should have it in the next month or so. I think everybody that pre-ordered it should have it. I got to say, a great figure. You guys saw me do a little overview of it. Uh, just an amazing figure. Blew away my expectations, and I'm not just blowing smoke there. Really like it, but you guys know me. I love a hairy bipedal creature, as you guys do know. But they did show off this week, of course, on the foot. They're all going to be individually numbered. And I do like that, that it's individually numbered. I hate it when it's one of 500. Okay, well, is this number four? Is it number 74? Is it number 312? What is it? I don't know. Well, you're going to know on these Mantar figures, every single one will have a different stamp on the foot. I assume PN News, everything else will have that as well. I think that is really cool. That's one of those things that will set them apart from some of the competition because nobody else is doing that right now. So I thought that was very interesting. And then, of course, on Friday this week, KWK officially announced Taka Michinoku coming to the line. So a lot of Taka fans uh, from Kai and Tai back in the day here in America and, of course, over in Japan. So it'll be good to get a retro version of Taka Michinoku in the future. But possibly the biggest wrestling news this week was uh, first revealed on Impact Wrestling. Old TNA is back. Uh, TNA Impact on Thursday night on AXS, Access, whatever you want to do, call it there. We knew who was going to be in the line. We knew it was going to be Jordan Grace. We knew it was going to be Moose. We knew it was going to be Eddie Edwards. And we knew uh, Josh Alexander. But we did see the first images of them. Got to say, they look good. They definitely look like a Power Town figure. And we unboxed Kerry Von Erich Power Town on the channel this week. So if you missed that video, check that out. But they got all the hallmarks of the Power Town figures, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. That's the way they're wanting to go in the wrestling world. And I have to imagine more people that watch the TNA Impact show are probably skewing older. You're not getting a lot of the little, little kids. So it's more of an adult collector environment. Not too far off from AEW, I would say, in their Jazzwares figures. Uh, obviously, these figures are probably going to be around $50, $55 a piece. So they're not going to be for everybody. Uh, but very cool. It's an interesting foursome right there. I don't know if that's the four I would have chose necessarily. I might have done it a little differently of course brian myers will have a figure out very soon so he could fit in with that mix if he wanted to as well uh, but it looks like april 15th these will go up for pre-order i hope they do a bundle deal we've seen that maybe in the past maybe they'll do that right here no word when they're going to ship no word on the pre-order length anything like that i have to assume more to come here probably next week in the toy news but I'm here for this. But like I said, they do look like a Power Town figure. They're going to fit with that. And as you start building out that brand, still building out Series 2, 3, 4, 5 of the regular Power Town Ultras and into the TNA, should have a pretty good sized TNA and uh, Power Town collection in the future. So it'll be interesting to see how I personally figure out how I'm going to display all these figures once they do come. So we'll stay tuned for that as well. But if you're looking for Power Town, it sounds like April 15th is the pre-order. No conspiracies here.
church. No, this didn't happen. No, 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 no. But now we move on to something extra exciting. I even wore the same shirt to match this figure. It is the long rumored, and maybe I knew about it, maybe I didn't, but we finally got an official picture reveals. Pre-order is up. It is the Super 7 Ultimate Lemmy Wave 2. Of course, Lemmy, my boy from Motorhead, one of the best figures we got in 2023. Hands down, an amazing figure. Now they're going to do it all over again in 2024 as we get Lemmy from the early 80s once again. I don't want to hear where Where's this big hat? Where's the top hat? That's much later. That's late 90s, 2000s. That's older Lemmy. We'll get that eventually. I am hopeful. But we're hanging loose in the 80s. Uh, no sleep till Hammersmith, that kind of era around there. Uh, maybe even a little Another Perfect Day, somewhere in the mix. Beautiful, beautiful version. Obviously getting a ton of use out of the molds. Uh, I can see some people saying, I don't need all these Lemmys. I'm good with the first one. Or if you missed out on that first one, the second one could be a great opportunity. But I've always loved this shirt on Motorhead, and that's why I wore it spe specifically today. Just a beautiful, beautiful look on Lemmy here. I'm here for it. I'm here for all the Lemmys. I would love to see a Lemmy from 1980, 1981, 82, 83, 84, and so on. Let's just get one for each year. I'm cool with that. Uh, by the time they complete that, we all might be dead, but we'll see what happens there. But I'm here for this Lemmy. Of course, up for pre-order at all the usual places. Entertainment Earth. Uh, use discount code Kyle, as I always do say. Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. All the usual places. Super 7, go to their site. Put in code Kyle P. Support the channel. Uh, it doesn't get you anything off, but it says, hey, I like that Kyle Peterson guy, which is all right. It's all right. Uh, but I'm here for Lemmy. You guys know that. Can't wait to unbox this. We'd love to see it at the end of this year. I don't know if that's going to be in the cards here. We'll see how it shakes out. But it would be awesome to have this one by the end of the year. Right around Lemmy's birthday, that would be a perfect time to launch this bad boy here. But you know me. I love Motorhead. I love Lemmy. I'm here for this music stuff. Would love to see if McFarlane dabbles into some Motorhead and Lemmy stuff. I don't know if that's going to happen or if Super 7 has an exclusive license. We'll have to wait and see on that. But once again, Ultimate Series 2, Lemmy, up for pre-order right now. A must-have. And now we got to turn to an official conspiracy. Who ever wonder if they're watching your every move? Cell phones, internet, surveillance think about it and we got a doozy here today and i'm still half hot about it hasbro pulse it's about you the conspiracies with hasbro pulse i signed up for my premium membership i always have the premium membership but it came due and i signed back up february 1st that's when i was back on the premium payroll or whatever you want to call it where i could get early access to figures i could get free shipping it pays for itself if you're someone like me that buys a lot of action figures, as you can imagine. So it's a must-have. Well, I went in a couple weeks in. They had whatever it was for pre-order at the time. I can't even remember what it was. doesn't even matter. Went in to get early access. I think it was the ferret, actually. So it's full circle here. It was the G.I. Joe ferret. Couldn't get in early to order this thing because it said I'm not a Pulse member. I'm logged in. Shows me. Shows my purchase that I purchased it. Send them an email, said, hey, I can't get in early. What is going on? No answer. Well, then it finally does go up at uh, an hour later for uh, the regular folks out there. So I said, I'll jump in with the regular folks. I'll get it, and it'll fix itself, hopefully. Of course, I go there. I go to check out. There's no free shipping. It says, you got to be a Pulse member. Well, it shows in my thing that I'm a Pulse member. Why am I not getting free shipping here? So I log in, log out, trying to go to different browsers. I try every browser under the sun, even Internet Explorer. We even went over there. Mozilla went there. Safari, Chrome, tried all of them. No luck. No luck. Couldn't get anything to work. So then I sent him another email. Hey, what's going on? I've got this Pulse membership. Well, hang tight. Our IT's working on it. IT's working on it. Well, they sent me a note later. Try it again. Still didn't work. Send him a note back. Well, IT's still working on it. We'll, we'll get back to you here. And then I finally said a day later, nothing. It's up there. I want to pre-order it. And they finally said to me, well, or I said to them, I said, I think I should just cancel my membership or could you just give me my money back uh, because this isn't working. And they said, oh my gosh, hold on a second. They immediately fixed it, got in, got the ferret, ordered it up. All was right with the world until this week when the Marvel Legends 2-pack came up. And that was, of course, Giant Man and Wasp 2-pack came up for pre-order this week. So if you got yours, you got yours. If not, you haven't. You still got time. Go perfect that Giant Man at the end of the year. Once again, couldn't get in early. Secondly, couldn't get free shipping. Okay, guys, what's the deal? Can I get this fixed? What's going on? Send them an email. Three days go by. 
no answers. Nothing coming from Hasbro. I'm like, what, what is going on? Well, then, the big surprise of the week, the Tiger Paw and Wreckage. Old Flint, his army's growing. We did get the Tiger Force exclusive up on Pulse and, of course, Target. So, of course, I go over to Pulse. Once again, oh, you're not a premium member. You can't get in early. So I missed out on that pre-order right away. Went back at 9 o'clock with all the regular folk. Once again, iced out again. So I'm just like, are you kidding me? So this time, I call up Hasbro Pulse. I got him on the phone. I said, this email stuff's not working. Call him on the phone. Talk to the representative lady. She was nice enough. I know it's not her fault or whatever. But she said, oh, yes. I got a note here. Our head manager is working on your thing. I said, they better work harder. Can I just cancel this thing? This is absolutely ridiculous. And they said, hold on. Put, put me on hold for 10 seconds or 20 seconds, whatever it was. They come back. Now try logging back in. And, of course, it works. And I'm like, well, great. It works. I got in. Can you assure me that this is fixed for good? No, we can't. So I don't know what's going to happen the next go around, but I'm still half hot about it. I think it's a conspiracy. I think it's a big rib from the Hasbro team on me. I think uh, Lenny over there and Ryan and Dan, I think they're all just picking on me. I think that's the only thing I can think of. They're just picking on me from afar, trying to get me half hot. Full hot is what I was the other day. But I did finally end up getting in there, and uh, I didn't get to get the wreckage. It's all gone. Hey, sorry about that. I said, so I'm just out of luck. I said, well, go to Target this afternoon. You can get it from Target. All right, I'll get it from Target. And that's what I did. So the wreckage, Tiger Paw, going to come home with me uh, via Target, apparently, not the Hasbro Pulse I'm spending $50 a month to be able to get early access and stuff for. So first world problems if there ever was one, but it's very frustrating when you're working on it. And they said, yeah, it's not fixed, and uh, but our IT team has you at the top of the list. Uh, we're going to get you fixed one of these days. So uh, one of these days, hopefully tomorrow is one of those days, but we'll see. But that is it. It's a very short toy news this week. Like I said, not a lot going on, which is okay. My wallet needs a break. I'm buying new hardwood floors for my entire main floor of my house. Uh, you saw a little bit of that in the figure hunting video yesterday uh, on Friday. Of course, those launch every Friday on the channel. So that's very expensive. Uh, and then this week, uh, my whole family and I almost died of CO2 poisoning. That was a good time. Well, I, maybe a little extreme there, but got my furnace and air conditioner checked this week where they come in and check all that stuff for you. And uh, the guy said, kind of came up, looked like he saw a ghost. He's like, you have a CO2 leak. You're, you have a hole in your furnace. And my furnace is fairly new. You guys know I got a top of the line system in here to keep all the dust out and all that kind of stuff, the air conditioner, all that kind of stuff. Long story, I'm getting into a rambling scene right here. But anyways, it was leaking CO2, and my CO2 alarm went off the other day. I said, man, I got to change those batteries. So I changed the batteries. About two days later, it went off again, and I said, man, I think this unit's broken. Or maybe there's a CO2 leak in the house. And no wonder I've been tired and having headaches and stuff, because I sit down here, and I edit my videos, and I film down here and all that kind of stuff. And luckily, just luckily, we had our yearly inspection time. It could have been just happening for about a week or so, but obviously that hole gets bigger, more comes out, and it's not the time of year where you're using your furnace. So I really did dodge a bullet there, because I'd probably just go to sleep and never wake up. And maybe that's not that bad of a deal. Who knows? When, your time, it's, when it's your time, it's your time, I guess. Uh, but a wild time around this place, but it was like a $5,000 fix for the furnace. But good thing had that warranty. It was free. Oh, got to get a deal out there. Got very lucky on that one there. Not going to get so lucky on the hardwood floors, though, unfortunately. I just need to fly my buddy Keith. I'll shout out to Keith. He can fly in and put these floors in for me, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? But that is it. That is the toy news. Now we got to turn our attention to the album of the week. All right, album of the week time, and this time we kick out the jams with good friends of the channel, old Buck Dharma, Eric Bloom, of course, the Blue Oyster Cult, one of the all-time great rock metal bands of all time, very under the radar, most people know just a couple songs. Well, this week they did release their new album, Ghost Stories, and I believe their final end of their career right here. Now, Blue Oyster Cult has some ups and downs, but man, some of that late 70s stuff recommended strongly recommended if you're a big fan of ghost and a lot of people are you got to give blue oyster cult a chance deep into their catalog very ghost influential of course you can hear it in the music but ghost stories was out this week here and i had to give it a listen of course you know it's their farewell kind of their swan song and they did put kick out the jams on the album the first time ever they've had that in an album it's always kind of been a live uh, album type thing but this time a regular album thing, which was pretty cool. That's the old MC5 song, of course. They even did an If I Fell, a Beatles cover, which is a little strange. It felt almost like, hey, we had a piece from 1986. Here's a piece from 77. Here's a piece from 2005. And here's five pieces from 2023. That's kind of how the album felt. So it didn't feel like it flew naturally. Now, I've only listened to it one time so far. As usual, all these legacy bands, things like that, I would say... They're definitely worth a listen one time. Even if they're terrible, I owe it to myself to listen to it one time. 
this far from the greatest uh, Blue Oyster Cult album of all time. But it was still kind of nice, kind of nostalgic, especially to kick out the jams. That was the, the one that really stuck with me. Obviously, I've heard that song for decades at this point. But a very, very cool one here. And I've been a Blue Oyster Cult fan for a heck of a long time. Seen them on some big shows. Seen them on some shows where there's not a whole lot of people. And one time, I just saw them getting into the elevator. I was like, I did one of these. I was at a grocer's convention. Yes, you heard it here first. A grocer's convention. This huge hotel thing. And I'm going to the escalator or the elevators. And I look and there's Eric Bloom, Buck Dharma just standing there. And the, the doors are shutting. And I was too far away or else I would have jumped in there or dived right in there. Uh, but I shut it and I'm like, what? What, what the heck? I'm just like, that, why would Buck Dharma be here? Why would, I like couldn't figure out things. And then there was a guy and I'm just sitting there. He's like, that was Blue Oyster called. I'm like, yeah, I thought that was Blue Oyster called. And he was like, there was like an insurance convention or something there in the same Plaza Hotel thing. And they were performing that night or something. And I didn't get to go to the show because I wasn't in insurance. I picked the wrong direction in my life. I went grocery instead of insurance. And then that's what you pay. You miss out on a free Blue Oyster Cult concert. That's what happens there. But shout out to Blue Oyster Cult, Ghost Stories, the album of the week. So there it is. That's the week that was in the 200th edition of the Toy News. Not a lot going on this week, but what's going on with you? What do you think about some of this stuff? Anything anything out there? You guys let me know in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell, pre-order your Lemmy figure, all that kind of fun stuff. And don't forget about the Patreon, as I did say earlier. Don't forget about both YouTube channels, dangerously close to 4,000 subscribers on the other YouTube channel. Let's get there. I think I need like eight more people to subscribe. We'll be at 4,000. Let's get that done. Todd McFarlane on the couch would appreciate that. So check out both YouTube channels, Patreon, Pro Wrestling Tees, of course the book, Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Appreciate all the support over there on the book. And if you want an autographed copy for whatever reason, hit me up, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for the Toy News of the Week, you know what I'm doing. I'm rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling into the weekend.